stay there, boy. Yeah, you all right there, boy? Can't you see I'm tracking game here? Okay, sure. Good luck. <laughs> Let's go, boy. Okay, boy. I thought I saw you over there. Hello? Come in.
You don't sound very well. I'm not. I'm... I think I'm dying. Then I hope you find peace. I don't know too much about peace. Apparently not. Thanks to that raid you carried out with my angry son, he is now in jail, apparently awaiting death. Um, uh, I'm sorry. I suppose I lack the grandeur of a conventional king. I don't know too many kings. <laughs> Colonel Favors, he has already exacted some measure of revenge for the raid. Two women were assaulted by his men. Um, I'm very sorry about all of this. Yes. Sometimes the correct path, the bravest path, is the least obvious and also the gentlest. I'm... I'm a great disappointment to my son. Your son seems to want a war. My son thinks there is glory in death. Maybe he's right. But for me, I saw death being handed out so freely by the most foolish of men, I never could equate it with victory. Glory has come in service. Maybe. Maybe not, I don't know. I've killed a lot of people. For a whole lot of dumb reasons, and I ain't never seen much glory in it. Well, your friend, Mr. Vanderlyn, he talks a lot. I don't know him, but my son is easily lit. I'm not sure I get you. Uh, well, perhaps we could go for a ride. I'm an old man. My whole life I have tried to bring peace. But uh, I ain't doing so good. Then maybe you can take pity on my plight. Please, it won't take long. <coughs> and maybe I can help you with that cough. Sir! Hmm. I'm glad I caught you, sir. Captain Monroe, do you know my friend, Mr. Morgan? No, sir. I don't have the pleasure. Arthur Morgan. It's an honor, sir. How can I help you, Captain? I was just in San Denis. I spoke with the mayor. It's not good news, I'm afraid. May I ride with you for a little? Of course. Follow me. So where are we going? I want to show you a site up in the mountains that's long been sacred to me. A place for reflection and healing. Oh boy. What is this news, Captain Munro? Yes, sir. As I mentioned, I did speak again with the mayor and the Bureau of Indian Affairs in Saint Denis at length. But regrettably, it appears the oil company has already received approval to move forward with drilling on the reservation's land. I suppose there's much. So what does that mean for us now? I'm not sure just yet. I didn't get the impression anything would be happening for a few months. I'm very sorry, sir. I did everything I could. I know, Captain. And I assure you I will continue to do as much as I can. Mr. Morgan, would you have time to help me at all? I would rather certain actions were taken by friends outside the tribe. Sure, I can help. That's good news. Thank you. Come meet me on the reservation whenever you can. Any assistance would be much appreciated, Mr. Morgan. Anyway, gentlemen, I won't take up any more of your time. I'll see you both soon. Sure. Thank you, Captain. Enjoy the ride. See? What's left of that bridge over there? I heard about it being destroyed. Do you know if that was also my son's doing? No, I'm pretty sure he had nothing to do with that one. Well, I fear they will find a way to blame it on us anyway. We'll continue on this way. I'm going to look for some herbs to give you. See the wolves over there feasting on that horse? Brutality and beauty are both all around us. Yet so often, we're unable to see past our own grievances. This is what I try to teach my son. Yeah! Go on, get at him! Go ahead. Are you all right back there? <laughs> 
Now I was saying, it's a beautiful ride ahead if you need some time to think. So, we don't know each other too well, but I wanted to speak to you about eagle flies. Let's go. We can rest when we get there. his arrest? In part, yes. I think you know something of Dutch by now. Yes, I know enough. Charles will find a way to help Eagle Flies, but I worry that won't be the end of it. Dutch seems hell-bent on making your son's fight his own, and <sighs> this ain't easy to say, but I just don't trust He's doing all this entirely out of solidarity. What else does he have to gain from it? Uh, I ain't quite sure yet. He's kind of unwound right now. I just... Sorry, uh, hold up a moment. That'll have to wait. Some of the plants I need will be growing down here. This is what I was looking for. English mace. Okay. Let's continue on. You were saying before. I just thought you should be aware. I appreciate you coming to me, Mr. Morgan. Let me give this some more thought. Things that bad on the reservation? Yes. This conflict with Colonel Favors and his regiment at Fort Wallace continues to worsen. Many of the elders are sick, and the young feel that any compromise is an admittance of defeat. Well, we ain't done much to calm the situation. But I have to continue to seek to resolve matters through peaceful negotiation. War would be futile. Your people are lucky to have you. I'm not so sure about that. Wait, stop here. I want to pick some ginseng. Put these in your saddlebag. Mix these together. It tastes awful, but it'll help to keep your strength up. All right, let's go. It's not much further now. I appreciate the herbs, but. I think it's gonna take more than that. I saw a doctor and he says I'm in a pretty bad way. I'm sorry to hear that. This situation we're in, me, Dutch, and the others, I don't know how long I got, but some of them, they still got a chance to have a life. I just think if I could give them that, then 
Maybe this ain't all for nothing. I think there is much you can still do, Mr. Morgan. Just up ahead. What's happened? No! It can't be. Need to find the Chinupa. Who, who would do this? Someone who wanted to enrage you. Help me look around, please. The Chinupa is gone. Of course. What is it? A ceremonial pipe. There must be some clues to what happened here. some drinking I see no end to any of this Give this some more thought. Thank you, Mr. Morgan. An empty bottle of whiskey. Well, if they drank all that, they couldn't have gotten too far. Yeah, well, still no sign of the Chinupa. Some logs here they must have used as kindling. Do you have any binoculars? Oh, there they are. These brave men. Some of Colonel Favor's men. They must have been the ones who did this. 
Are you surprised this happened? Not at all. But... But I hope we were past this. Well, you got land they want. Land with oil. They moved us here. They've taken everything we had. I signed three treaties myself, and they've broken each one. No, they've taken the last hope. No, my people are going to want a war. A war they can't win. Not if I get it back. Get it back? Yeah, I'm gonna go in, get your chin up, and no one will be any the wiser. Would you do that? Well, you can't go. They know why you'd come. We, uh... Don't have any money. Nah, I don't need your money. Please see if they have our sacred items. But try not to hurt anyone. I'll try to ensure that they never even know I'm there, but actions don't always go the way you plan. Let's get.
on now, boy. Yeah. Here, I, uh, I got your things, I, I think. Yes, thank you. I'm very sorry about this. Even sacred things are only things. People, the heart, matter more. Was anyone hurt? Yes. It's a bad business. I should not have let you do this for me. But perhaps it will stop a bigger massacre. With these, maybe I can calm my people. Maybe I can calm my son. I hope so. Thank you. Take those herbs I gave you, please. And most of all, I hope you can find peace within yourself. He's a man who, not so long ago, I would have found weak and pathetic. Now I see as wise and thoughtful and sensible. I would love to help him, or at least stop Dutch pushing his son to do something real stupid. Looking for gold, partner. I ain't seen so much as a fleck round here. <laughs> well, good luck to you. Hmm. Sure looks like another pile of shit crumbs, don't it? Let's give it some of the magic touch. <laughs> Come on now. Yeah. <sighs> Something. Mm. Anything. I'll take a cigarette butt at this point. Being nice to you, so be nice to me. <laughs> Wait a damn second. Look at this. Oh, who's got gold? Who's got gold? Woo hee, I got some gold. <laughs> Look at this, baby. <laughs> <laughs> what 
wait till Tex sees this. Oh, the look on his face. Guess you found some after all. Good for you, friend. Yeah, barely size of a pebble. Don't know why I got so excited. There, boy. Yeah. The door is open. Hamish, Arthur. Well, come in. You said we might go out fishing. Don't take much persuading to get me to go fishing. Let's go in my boat. Good. Here she is. You mind rowing? Sure. What are we fishing for? Yeah. Only one thing worth catching in this lake. The great tyrant. Oh. <laughs> mean as hell, Northern Pike. Uh. Eats everything else that spawns around here, its own kind included. Well. Is that our bait then? A jack or something? Hell no. He's a clever old bastard. <laughs> I made these. This one's mine. You're gonna have to spare. They are pretty. You don't know the half of it. <laughs> Come on, let's push off. I'll show you where we're rowing to. <sighs> Take us over there to the right. We'll set up ten yards or so offshore. He don't keep far away from me, the tyrant. Wants me to know whose lake it is. We'll show him who's boss. <laughs> the optimism of youth. Right here. We'll cast off towards the island. Okay. You got that lure I gave you? Get her out. Spent years working on that. Finding the right combination of feather, twine, and glimmer. Making them, losing them, getting them right. I tried coins, shell cases, even a metal. Finally found something he seems to like. But now I hear he can buy him in a shop. Well, it wouldn't be quite so satisfying. Getting him with something shop bought. Easy for you to say. <laughs> but maybe I'm inclined to agree. Got something? Ah, I got something, all right. <laughs> uh, hey, him. Hey, you need Come on anything? now, Tyrant. I got you. I got you. Come on. <laughs> ah, ah, went all slack. Went all slack. Come back. No, oh, it's a drop back. Uh, Amos. Amos. Stay there. I'm rolling out to you. Real quick. Bastard just bumped me. <laughs> Over here. Hey. Come on up here. You lost anything? <laughs> Adjust my rod. <clears throat> We'd gotten my toes, too. They weren't wooden. <sighs> you want another go at him? I still got my lure. Nah. He's your fish now. Cast away. We'll come at him from the other way. Row over there. When he bumped me, I had to check twice. Thought I'd find a chunk of me missing. Man eating pie. That would be a first. I'm not so sure. Okay, right here. Our hopes of catching this bastard lie with you. Cast back to where we were, and make sure to use that lure I gave you.
Now reel a mite quicker. Ah, I think I hooked him. Reel. Let's land the bastard. Start reeling. Wait! Don't reel while he's thrashing like that! Come on! Come on! No! Lost him! We're gonna get this son of a bitch. I think we found him. Cast again! I think that hook, come on! <clears throat> ah, you lost him! Let's try again. <laughs> Cast it out there. He's gone! That tyrant's a clever one. Let's try again. At him. Don't let him pull you. to real.
He's tiring, all right. There you go. you now, tyrant! We got you now! Sorry for you caught him. Let's row back. Here, here, oh, the holder. Pass me the tyrant. That is if you're sure you don't want him. <laughs> oh, I ain't gonna poach from your pond. <sighs> well, I'll give him his honors then. He sure was something, huh? <sighs> he was. <clears throat> Thanks for taking me out. I appreciate the company. <sighs> That's one hell of a fish. Ain't he something? <laughs> so long. Hey, you ever want to go out hunting? You stop by again. I may.
Hey, mister. He won't leave me alone. I, I asked him, but he, but he won't. I, I'm feeling very abandoned. You know, very ignored. See, I, I asked for... For, for a message. And he gave me the whole world. But no signal I can understand. All these, all these people, and, and none of them quite right. That's very frustrating. The, the whole world. Wasn't that enough? No. It wasn't enough. It wasn't enough at all. <laughs> That's a problem. I'm so... I'm so greedy. I'm, I'm awful. You okay, boy? Take it easy. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's a pleasure. <laughs> Uncle. You can sit, but we ain't in much of a good What was that mood. all about? Plans, Morgan. You'll be the first to know. Is that right? How are you doing? Everything's falling apart. What are we gonna do, Arthur? Why don't you sit instead of creeping around the place? Bill, 
How are you doing? I am loving life. Just keep your fingers crossed. Whatever, Morgan. Hey, Abigail. Hello, Arthur. How you doing? Confused? Worried? What's happened to all you boys? Just keep your head down for now. I suppose so. It's all over. All over. I don't want to die. How you do it? Not like all. this. Not. I don't want that. I don't. You. It, it's all so sad, Mr. Morgan. So very sad. I... Really? <sighs> no. I don't know. I don't know. It feels like now. Yep. I've never known you scared, but it feels like now it's only a matter of time. It'll be okay, miss. You sure? No. But I'm sure you'll be okay. And I'm also sure that, well, I'm sure that I'm really proud of you. You've grown into a fine woman. You'll be well. I just know it. Mrs. Adler? You okay? Peach. You sure? You still working? Is anybody still working? The whole goddamn place full of people bickering, fighting, and lying. It makes me real sad. I know. I need someone to ride with me. Do what? Finish off them O'Driscolls. I hear the last of them is holed up at Hanging Dog Ranch. I don't have it in me no more. I saw Colm swing. I just don't care. I was a married woman. You know what they did to me and to my husband. But you're the only one of these fools that I trust. I've got to do this. I'll tell you what, I'll do it. But there's something you could help me with. Abigail? Jack? John, make sure they make it. I mean, this whole thing is pretty much done. But when the time comes... Or how do you mean? When the time comes, you help them. What do you mean? I mean, help them escape when I... You know, you and me, we're more ghosts than people. But them, they, they could... I know. Of course I will. Thank you, Arthur. You want to ride with me now, or meet me up at Hanging Dog Ranch when you can? Thanks, Arthur. Okay, come on. <clears throat> Fine morning for killing. 
<laughs> Hi. You seen anything down there? Yeah, I think there's a bunch of them down there. I'm mostly drunk. For one of them, it's a fat fellow with a beard. Him? He's mine. Okay. It's a big ranch. Run down. Lots of folk there. But spread pretty thin. I'll set it off and then we'll... We'll... Take it from there. Take it from there? Okay. So, no real plan then. Oh, I got a plan. Now come on. <laughs> He was a good man, my Jakey. We was always sweet on one another. I'm sure. Yeah. I miss him every day, every moment. Uh, the 
they turned me into a monster, Arthur. But my memories of him, they still pure. I ain't even got that. Aside from my Jake, you're the best man I've known. I know the company you keep. The competition ain't too fierce. <laughs> we, uh, we should get away from her. I think I need to be alone for a bit. I understand. You, uh, I want to get yourself cleaned up. Thank you, Arthur.
Slow up now. Yep. Yeah. There, boy. You want the old Driscoll to make you their business?
got some ground to cover. Reckon I got a ways to go.
welcome. Hey there, pal. Can you help me? Could use some help finding my way home. I can't make heads or tails. Valentine used to be a nice town. I live son of a bitch kept pestering me while I drank. So I knocked his teeth out. Next to the freight station. Well, I can't you see. You know if I'm heading in the right direction. Come on now. Help me out. I told you. We did good with this. I live in front of the saloon. Next to the freight station. Uh, well, thanks, Annie. How the hell are you? Will you move? Thanks for your help. Hey! Hey, first time, huh? God damn. You can stay another night if you want. Sweetheart. Hey, easy. Well, Mind man. yourself. You arrange the bath, I need a wash. I got someone warming it up for you already. Just head down the corridor there. Can I be of any assistance in there? Yeah, okay. 
Okay, sure. Sit back and relax, son. Let me know if you'd like a bit of an extra scrub anywhere. I'll be out of your hair in no time. Yeah, I was nearly married once. She never bathed me. Well. Ah, I do not like getting older. Yes, I know. So how are things with you? Fine, thank you. I've had quite the run of bad luck recently. Oh, no, I'm sorry. So what do you do when you ain't bathing folk? Oh, I don't know. I'm just trying to get out of this town is all. All right, that's perfect. Thanks. It was nice meeting you. Since you're here, might as well get a bath, sir. <laughs> You better think twice before you try and get rid of me. The name Callaway means a lot in this town. You just get what you need and don't linger too long, all right? Let's just see what you got. Going to just linger here? I got better things to do than wait on you. Well, let's see what you got. This shop ain't the place for your tomfoolery. Relax, my friend. Never mind. Out of the damn way! I will use an iron on you if you decide to wield them fists again. You keep them to yourself. Keep treating Ed like your own child, all right? Good on you. Hey, beautiful condition. Keep it up. Good. 
Ain't no trace of rust on that as far as I can see. It's beautiful condition. Keep it up. Good. Ain't no trace of rust on that as far as I can see. It just ain't no way to fine tuning your gun, you know? You keep treating that like your own child, all right? Good on you. Good. Ain't no trace of rust on that as far as I can see. It's beautiful condition. Keep it up. You keep treating that like your own child, all right? Good on you. Why don't we enhance your gun? See how much more it can do. Beautiful condition. Keep it up. You keep treating that like your own child, all right? Good on you. Good. Ain't no trace of rust on that as far as I can see. So long. If you've come back to propose marriage, I'm afraid you'll be disappointed. What brings a woman to kill like that, eh? Same thing that brings a man to you, you dumb idiot. Sometimes it's because you want something. Sometimes it's because you want to. You? I would have killed for survival. Sadly, one of us had to go. Yeah, well, enough of that. Why don't you hightail it? Right now! Last chance or you're finished. Okay, okay. I'm gone. Oh, hell, you're Save coming me. with me now! Let's just all Get take a breath here, shall we? Do as you're told, and come along with me. here is a silly boy. And Protus isn't a boy at all, but a chimpanzee that a man shaves a face into every day. Now, that's very useful if you need to climb a tree, but a good conversationalist it does not make. He was always a morning, sickly mister. child, sickly and weird. I have no idea why he followed me out to the West. He would have been better off staying at prep school or going to the seminary. I've spent my whole life horsewhipping this scoundrel. You can't punch, my sweet. It's sad, really. Oh, my, our friend. Hello. I bet you can punch. Do me and the lady a favor here, would you? And thrash this impudent wretch. Thrash? No man alive can thrash me. What was your name, sir? Arthur. Arthur could. Easily. You, maybe, but not me. 
I know. Punch us both. As hard as you can. You'll break his glass jaw, and I'll be left standing. The knight and the knave. Good idea. Hit me, then. Dear boy, give the feeble fellow a little tap and watch him crumble. <laughs> you really walloped him. Right, yikes! I'm fine. Come. Ooh, look there! I got a proper chin. Not Good. like that toe rag. Good Lord above. Doesn't hurt. Oh. Hey, hey, hit yeah. me again. Right here. Right here. Oh. Weren't you taught never to hit girls? Punch a man for once. Give me your worst. Oh. I think he's done for. Barely even felt it. Pfft. There's only one thing for it then. Hit me in the manhood. Don't worry, sir. Miner made a steal. Real steal, huh? No holding back this time. Gentlemen. Yes, oh, I think so. Oh, I slipped, and I hope you killed the leprechaun. And he's still alive? Shoot him, please, one of you. There, there, up you get. We need to get some steak on those wounds. Madam, gentlemen, good luck to you. Whatever got into your heads? raising hell like last time, I'll toss you out. I won't have you lingering. Do your shopping and move on. Hang on, leave this area. It's not for customers. I'm sorry, partner. No need to get worked up, right? I ain't gonna stay patient forever. Get down to business. Attention, so get on with it. I ain't gonna stay patient forever. Get down to business. I 
I got things to tend to, so get on with it. I ain't gonna stay patient forever. Get down to business. Blazes. What do you want? You look like hell, Just mister. Quick. Likewise. I'm in the prime of my life. Right. You here for the auction, then? Well, if you ain't here for the sheep, you won't get much more in Valentine, except <sighs> shit on your shoes and a punch in the face. I swear. If I never see a sheep again, it'll be too soon. Bleeding little shit. I have dreams some nights of going over to that auction yard and gunning them all down. Uh, anyways, enough of that. Hey there. Yeah, goodbye. What?
strong one for. Time to go, boy. Okay there, boy? Yeah. There we go. You'll be all right. Yeah, come on now. Just come on. Good. <laughs> Come, boy. Good girl.
the blind. Maybe ye shall see. Help a blind man. Bad news awaits you, sir. Sadly, sooner than you think. But beyond the news, paradise awaits. Paradise. Okay, I will try to bear that in mind. Don't waste any more time with an old blind man. Go out there and become who you are. Please, I need to be alone with my thoughts now. <laughs> There's a girl. Come on, follow me. Twisted my ankle something fierce. Think you could give me a ride? Yeah, sure. Hop on. Oh, thank you, sir. Thank you. You know Emerald Ranch? Mind taking me there? Sure. Yeah. Glad I ran into you. Huh. I raised that horse, you know. Yeah. Raised it since it was just a foal. Oh, uh, losing a horse is hard. Sorry to hear that. Yeah, that horse did right by me. Better than my husband, truth be told. That fool, always complaining, but does he do something about it? Man barely lifts his hand to wave the flies away, aside from to lift a drink, of course. Marriage for me has been nothing but trouble. But Biscuit, he was a fine animal. Loyal, smart, brave. Didn't take no guff, not from no one. Had one of them mountain boys pull a gun on me once. I was riding up near the Dakota and had stopped by a nice warm patch. Must have dozed off, but I wake up and find some nasty piece of work pointing a rusty shotgun straight at me. Well, he gets wheezing on and I must have made some sort of noise because the next thing I know, Biscuit had nipped his ear clean off. Kicked his hide too as he was hollering aiming and knock me off? Oh, yeah? Yeah, had a good laugh on that one. <laughs> I tell the husband, what does he do? Should have never gone over there, honey, he says. Gee, thanks. <laughs> so, you live at Emerald Ranch then? For the time being. I was looking for work. They was looking for some help with the gardens. If I waited any longer for my husband to put food on the table, I'd have died of starvation. I'll be moving on soon, though. Emerald Ranch, well, it's a strange place. How so? The owner's a mean bastard. Strange, too. The lights in bullying folk. There's a daughter, but she never leaves the house. You can see her in the window sometimes. When I asked about her, everybody told me to leave it alone. Found an old saloon there, all shut down now. But I went in to have a look, and there's bullet holes, old blood stains. Something definitely happened there, but I couldn't figure it. Just an uncomfortable feeling to the place. Either way, it's time I left. Especially now I lost that poor horse. I'll collect my belongings and be on my way. Back home? I guess. I bet my husband's right where I left him, bottle in hand. Oh, 
We're getting close now. This is great. This was kind of you, mister. Please, take this as my way of thanking you. <laughs> Appreciate it. <sighs> what a lousy day. You're all right, girl. Horse doing all right? You ain't got any stalls left. I'm fine. If you ain't Don't got you papers, I can't me. give you much. I've been burned before. Working with animals is better than working with people, sometimes. <laughs> hey, it costs more for a reason. That's a good name for a horse. Sure, we'll swap them for you. That's a hell of a name. Best to have a good saddle that'll hold up. Adding on to a saddle helps personalize it.
Look after your horse good. Be damn sure it'll look after you. Always good to have one of those. I got one of them myself. Yep. Yep. Enjoy. Appreciate it. Come back soon. That's a good horse. Come on, girl. in the pokey. <laughs> Well, well, they locked you up good, huh? <laughs> Remember you. Passed through here some time ago, huh? since you were through here. Woo! You look like death warmed up. Likewise, Seamus. Well, life takes its toll on all of us, don't it? 
But guess we're still here. Okay, keep this just between us now, won't you? Come on. Hey, boy. Hey, mister, in need of a car. 